One of UNICEF's priorities is that no child in Serbia is to be deprived of his or her right to education. For children from marginalized groups, inclusive education is a way of integrating them into society and into peer groups. The Ministry of Education, Science and Technological Development says that the number of children from marginalized groups keeps rising and that in some cases not all parents are satisfied with this situation. This is when teachers need a partner. Our responsibility is to keep involving parents and different parent associations and to have all parents as partners, not just the parents of children from marginalized groups. They must become our partners and they must recognize the importance of the process of inclusion for all children, including their own. Teachers who work with children who require additional support play the most important role and have the highest responsibility. This is why UNICEF has supported training programs for teachers, associates and pedagogical assistants as well as the work of the Network for Inclusive Education. We need to encourage them and give them good practice examples. And the role of the Network for Inclusive Education lies in promoting the idea of inclusive education by collecting samples of good practices in inclusive education and presenting them. Along with enhancing the competencies of teachers to adequately respond to challenges, UNICEF also supports institutional capacities for the planning, monitoring, and realization of inclusive education policies. What we have worked on with all our partners, and especially with the Ministry of Education, Science and Technological Development, was the establishment of a unit within the ministry which would further support the development of inclusive education in schools and the efforts of schools to keep developing inclusion practices. On the other hand, this would also provide and enhance the capacities of the ministry for further development of inclusive policies and practices. In order for inclusive education to be successful, it is necessary that intersectoral cooperation is in place, especially between the sectors of education, health and social welfare. This still represents a challenge at both the national and local levels. Connecting the sectors, joint training and consultations about the problems that they may encounter is one model. One of the ways for establishing this cooperation on both formal and informal levels. It is proven to be the best model. Apart from government institutions, UNICEF is partnering with the private sector in order to create the necessary conditions for the implementation of inclusive education by providing school equipment and teaching materials. In the long run, UNICEF's aim is for every child to complete his or her secondary education and thus have the tools for lifelong learning.